Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a follow-up video from my makeup collection weekly picks that I did not too long ago, a few days ago. And I forgot to tell you in that video that I will be doing a tutorial. It's just that if I combine both, like picking my makeup and the tutorial, the video will be an hour long. <laughs> so what I decided to do is I am going to do a makeup tutorial after doing a video like that and show you all of the products in action, like me using them, you know? So today I'm gonna use a neutral tone palette. I'm gonna use the Iconic Couture palette from Milan Row. I have not used this palette and it is the one that I chose for this week to have in my my drawer as the neutral tone palette. Today I want to use some of these burgundy shades in here and so that is why I'm going to use this palette. I just did a blue eyeshadow look so I've done colorful looks so today I want to do something a little bit more neutral and like I said I'm going to be using everything that's inside this little box here so if you haven't seen that video I'll have it linked up there but just to show you real quick what I'm talking about in case you haven't seen that video. So yes, yeah, today's makeup tutorial is going to be using just all of those products together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my face oil, which is the Beauty Bakery face oil. And I love this. I already did apply a little bit. I did this in my last makeup tutorial too, just showing you like from start to finish. I already applied a little bit of this whenever I, before I did my brows, but I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit more. Now I have been trying out the Hello Happy liquid foundation and that's the one that I'm going to use today. I found a perfect way for me to use it, which is really moisturizing my skin and using a pore filling primer just because I feel like it makes my skin just a little bit smoother. So today I'm going to be using this one. This one is the Benefit Professional. And I'm going to start with this one around my nose, that is the main area that I like to apply it on, and then just spread it around the rest of my face. The last time that I used this one was with the brush, and I really, really liked it. The brush that I'm using is the JH, the Morphe JH03. It is a foundation brush. This one has a really thin formula. I have been using it for the past few days, and even before I even started it, like, to put it in this little box because I was getting a feel for it. I want to do my review on it already. So I've been trying this one out and then I also have to try out the powder one just a little bit more before I do my review. But I have been liking it with the Beauty Blender a lot. And then for the first time I tried it with the brush in my in my ColourPop Blue Eyeshadow tutorial. And I really liked the way that that looked. It wore very, very pretty that time. Like it looked exactly like it does with the beauty sponge, like even it blended out easily. Everything was really easy. I also love that it's so lightweight and it's also like a great match for me. I have this one in number three. I don't think I mentioned this, but I have it in the number in the shade number three. So the concealer that I'm gonna use this one this time is going to be the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is another one. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna apply this one really, really fast. This is not one that I have inside of the box, but I have been using this one just for right here, mainly on the inner corner of my eyes. This one is a very thick found, uh, concealer. Not like super, super thick. It's really easy to blend out, but it's a lot thicker than a regular concealer and it's a color correcting concealer. I have this one in the shade number two and it works really good for my under eyes. So now I'm gonna go over that with the H, yeah, Ultra HD. This one I have it in the shade 21 and it's a really good color for me. I'm just gonna apply this right there. Not really do like too too much but I do want a little bit right here in between my brows. This one's a very thin concealer but I feel like it gives me just the perfect amount of coverage. It's not too thick and it also is supposed to be like a self setting concealer. Um, I mentioned this before but I don't feel like it lasts completely nice and even throughout the day. If I don't set it, if I set it, it's it's normal, you know, but if I don't set it, if I want just like a regular makeup, like a regular day makeup look, like something just really, really quick, I do apply it, and then if it creases throughout the day, I do blend it out with my finger, and it doesn't look bad. Like, it doesn't stay, it doesn't look like it's like building up or anything underneath my eyes, so I do like it for an everyday natural makeup look, but I also like to use it on days like this, you know, and like really set it and everything. So that is it for the concealer. Like I said, it's almost my shade. It's a really good match to me. And then I'm also going to use the Huda Beauty. I'm trying to use as many products as possible, but I do really want to use this one. This one is a cream product by Fenty, not Fenty, by Huda Beauty. And this one is in the color, is in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to apply it on my contouring areas. 
Today I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge. Let me just apply whatever is left right here on the sides of my nose. I actually used a lot of these products in my ColourPop makeup tutorial, the Blue Moon palette tutorial. And everything came out really good. I felt like my skin looked so healthy, so glowy, and I really liked it. Um, but today I'm using a couple of different products. So I'm trying not to use so many of the products that I use in that tutorial. I'm trying to use like different, like the different, the, uh, the second options that I have in there. Because I ended up getting two blushes, two highlighters, two contour products, two palettes, you know, just to switch it up every now and then. So there you go. You can see this product blends out so, so easily with beauty sponge and with the brush. The last time I used it with the brush. So that is it for the face part. You need to blend out my eyelids just a little bit more. So now I'm going to set everything and the setting powder that I chose to get is the CoverGirl Loose Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And the reason, the main reason why I decided to get this one is because I'm almost out of it. So And it's pretty old so I need to like really use it up. If I want to keep using it I should get a new one because this one like I said is pretty old. And I'm going to go ahead and bake my under eyes. And also did I blend out my nose? I don't remember. <laughs> but I can't really tell so. Let me just set right here in my in between my eyebrows and then like I usually do grab my fluffy brush same steps and set the rest of my face my AC just turned on okay so I'm gonna leave the rest of the face for later I'm gonna continue on to the eyes I think this palette is going to get a little messy I don't know, that's why I'm keeping the baking powder underneath my eyes because whenever I swatch these, the eyeshadows are super, super soft that I just think they might have fall out. So I'm gonna try it out, you know, without removing the powder. Okay, so I was thinking of doing a look using these three shades right here. I think that will look very pretty. Although these two right here look very similar. So I don't know how that's gonna look. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this little blending brush. You see, it's like really intense which looks very nice but i don't know how messy it's gonna get this one is the morphe m514 brush and i'm gonna apply this let me blend out my eyelid one more time and i'm actually going to set it because i'm going to start with the blending because i don't want it to be like a really dramatic look i still want it to be pretty wearable just more on the dark side you know so i'm just setting it with my loose powder Okay, so like I said, I'm going to apply one of these and it's going to be that one right there. I just stuck my brush in there. You can see that it's pretty powdery, so I don't know. I don't know how intense it's going to be, if it's going to be messy or anything like that. So I'm just going to start with this one right here in the crease. You see? Super, super intense. It's like very, very pigmented. And I, I could tell during the swatches whenever I did them that that was pretty intense but I didn't know if it was going to be like super intense with a lot of fallout or just like creamy and easy to blend out. Just grabbed a little bit more. I grabbed a little bit more. Hold on. That's a lot. They look neutral, but you still get color in here. I feel like it's more like wearable colors. So yeah, that is very, very intense. So yeah, I'm just building it up slowly so that way I don't like overdo it on the very first time. I'm going to go ahead and just go over this edge very, very lightly just to blend that out. I'm just going to go on to the eyelid shade. I want to use this one all over the eyelid. It looks so pretty. Let me swatch it for you so you can see it. It's like sheer but burgundy reddish. Like you can see it. It like whenever it hits the light it looks a little bluish I don't know it's a very very pretty color so that's the one that I want all over my eyelid so I'm gonna go ahead and use the synthetic brush this is the Morphe Jack J this is the Morphe JH 41 and I'm gonna take this shade this shade is called fantasy and I'm gonna try it without spraying it with anything I'm just gonna apply this one all over the eyelid such a pretty color Maybe I should have applied, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm apply, I'm actually going to go in with the dark one. Why not? I'm just going to go over that because I don't like how sheer it looks just on its own on my eyelid. 
So I'm going to apply the dark one right here on my eyelid area that's left. This shade that I'm applying is just a little bit more purple. The one that I applied first is a little bit more burgundy. Now I'm going over that shimmer, but I didn't want to apply that shimmer on its own. Alright, so applying this one all over the eyelid. So I'm going to go over that, over that edge with a little fluffy brush. I really want to use the green shade in this palette too, so maybe next time I'll use the green. It looks really pretty. I kind of want to combine these burgundy with the green because I think that'll look pretty. But yeah, so let me go ahead and apply Fantasy again. Alright, I think, like it looks pretty, but I think it's going to look way better if I spray it. I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC uh, Fix Plus and just go over that eyelid. Oh yeah, much, much better. Because it gave me a lot of fallout. Now I have glitter, but at least I have a little bit of powder so I can take that off. And it's like, I kind of knew, I kind of knew that, that it might get messy because whenever I was watching these, they were pretty messy. So yeah, depends on where the light hits it, it looks burgundy. And then in other spots, it looks blue, which I think that looks so cool. But for sure, I got fallout from almost every single shade. Yeah, I got a ton of fallout there. Like I said, a good thing I had that powder underneath. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blending brush again and just go over this edge. I feel like I need a little bit more of this edge to be blended out. Okay, so now taking a flat brush, I'm going to use the dark shade in here. And I'm going to apply this one on my lower lash line. For the waterline, I'm going to use this Urban, Urban Decay waterline pencil. This one's in the shade Love Drug. I think this one's like a great match for this look because it's almost the exact same shade and I don't want to use black since I'm not going to do a wing on top. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I don't want it to look too harsh on the waterline. Okay, so this is a pretty intense look. I'm going to see if it'll look good without any falsies. I'm going to use the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. First, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'll do a few coats of the mascara. Love this mascara. I just feel like it makes such a huge difference in my lashes. Like, I have never been so happy just using my natural lashes before because all the other mascaras that I have tried, like from what I can remember, what other ones do I really like? I really like the Benefit Roller Lash, but that one really coats my lashes. It really separates them, but the formula is not as thick as this one. Like this one, it makes my eyelashes look like they're there. You know, it's not like they're super long, like it makes them super long, no, but it's just my natural lashes, it makes them show up like I have something. <laughs> you know, I always feel like I don't have top lashes. My my lower lashes, I feel like they're pretty long, but my top ones never want to show up for my look. So I'm so happy with this mascara. I've just been using it a lot just because of that reason. Like, I don't always want to wear falsies, so I really need a good mascara to work with me sometimes, you know, so yeah very very happy with this mascara so that's basically it for the eyes i mean very very simple steps i know it looks a little bit more dramatic but it's just because the shades are darker but super easy you know i only use those three eyeshadows i wanted to use so now moving on to the bronzer today i'm going to use this one this one is called delphic by mac and it is a very beautiful shimmery bronzer i used to love this one i just haven't used it in a while which is why i stuck it in my box this week I'm just gonna apply it with this big fluffy brush so if you have like a fair to light skin tone this one's a really nice one and you can always build it up like I'm doing right now because I do have to build it up just a little bit but it looks beautiful and it's so easy to blend out it's also glowy so it gives you a little bit of glow and then for blush I actually didn't grab another blush I thought I grabbed two blushes didn't I oh I did I was like why why isn't the blush there it is but it's at the very bottom this is the Too Faced blush that I picked out for this week and I put it at the bottom because it doesn't fit on the top drawers because it's pretty thick and it's a very very pink one maybe I should have used the other one but it doesn't look bad okay I'm just not gonna apply too much this one's also a glowy blush it has some shimmer in it and it's not too too much like it's not glittery it's just a little glowy and for highlight today I'm gonna use this one called Evil Queen it's from the ColourPop collection and it does look very very pretty I have not even swatched this one I've never used it so I really wanted to see how it works on me so basically like a first impression right now it's a gold, it has a gold tone to it. 
That looks pretty. I thought it was gonna be a gold but shadowy tone just from the way that it looks in here. It's kind of like a bronze gold. It looks really pretty. So like I said, I had never used this one. I did pick it out from like swatches whenever they were first gonna launch. And I was like, this one looks like from the swatch. It looked like it would be okay with me, like with my skin tone. So yeah, I'm glad that I did get it because I only got two. And this one out of the two is a darker one, but no, it looks really good and it's not shadowy. I'm using the Anastasia brush with it. This is supposed to be like a super shock, right? Aren't the super shocks mainly like in the tubes? I do have some, but I'm pretty sure those are called super shocks. And I guess it's okay now, or they changed the formula a little bit to have it in one of these containers because I know they dry out. Supposedly, mine have never dried out, <laughs> but I know they supposedly dry out pretty quickly if you don't close them tightly. I don't know. I've never had an issue with them, so yeah, I don't know. But um, let me see, what else is next? You know what I haven't worn in a long time? Red lipstick. I used to love wearing red lip. I still love wearing red lipstick. And I even love wearing it whenever I'm doing like a very everyday look, like just, not an everyday look, but like a full face of makeup, but no eyeshadow, just my mascara and then a bold lip. I love wearing red for those days, but yeah, it doesn't match with today. I was just thinking that I haven't worn red in a long time. So I'm going to try this one first. I, I honestly have been liking wearing like just a very light lip gloss just because it looks really nice and shiny. So let me see how I, I already have a little bit of this one. I applied it earlier just because uh, my lips look pretty dry, but I had also got this one out, the sugar pale lipstick in the color Duchess. But I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I'm just going to leave it like this with the lip gloss. I think all of this looks really good just like this. I also grabbed the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I don't want it to be a matte setting spray. Let me make sure. I doesn't say that it's matte, so that's good. I don't really like matte setting sprays. Like I like them every now and then, but I prefer my face to look glowy. And I really like the MAC Fix Plus. I don't feel like this mattifies my makeup. And I also love the dewy set by anastasia that one's one of my favorites but i i don't take it out all the time because i'll use that one only so i'm like trying to get things that i don't normally use so yeah i'm gonna use this one by milani and just spray it everywhere so i love a glowy glowy look and i feel like i look super extra glowy especially with that highlight but anyways you guys that is everything for today's video those are a lot of the products that i have in my box i'll show you how empty my box is right now so these are the products that I have left. It's not that heavy, but it's pretty big, so it's kind of hard. But yeah, so these are the other products that I did use in my ColourPop video. The only other one is this palette that I haven't used yet, but it's just one product, so next time I'll use that. And also the Benefit Powder. I still need to use that one in a tutorial. So in my next tutorial, I will use most likely the Jawbreaker, the Smashbox, the Smashbox, the Benefit, hello happy powder foundation and whatever else you know whatever else i use from the products that i use today so like i said this video is a follow-up video on me picking out my makeup products and this is the makeup tutorial with the products in it and then like i said i will use the remaining products that are in there in a future video and then eventually just give you my opinion on everything if I really like something, if I ended up not liking something, but so far everything's been good. Like some of these products I hadn't used in a long time, like the two highlighters and the concealer, the other concealer that I have in there by Makeup Revolution, also the blush that I have in there, like products that I hadn't used in a while that I wasn't sure. I was like, do I really like these? I don't remember. Let me try them again, you know? So anyways, this is a follow-up video. If you haven't checked it out, I will have it linked up there, but I hope you enjoyed it and seeing like the products in action. I am so happy that I decided to do this because I feel like it's working. Like the purpose of that video was for me to be able to use those products that I hadn't used in a long time and it's working you guys and it's also working that I don't have to dig around for my makeup. I could just grab it from right here in front of me and those two things were the main things, the main reasons why I wanted to use them. You know, rotate through my makeup and then just have everything ready for whenever I'm ready to film. But uh, that's my phone. So anyways you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.